In Windchill, auto-associate is the process of pairing up a CAD document with its associated WT part or Windchill part or Enterprise part, as they are sometimes called. Here I am in a Creo parametric session that is connected to Windchill. I have a brand new part here and I want to check it in. Let me go to the folder browser and then workspace. And here it is in the top line of my workspace. It is a brand new object. I will click on the check-in icon in the actions group. And here is the object. I can then click on the next button. And on this tab, you can see that I have a choice here to auto associate parts to CAD documents. You'll notice that this box can be unchecked if I want to. And what it'll do is it'll look on the server for an object with the same name, a WT part with that name. And if it already exists, it'll pair it up. If it doesn't exist, it will end up creating it. So let's click on the finish button. In the message area, I can see that the check-in succeeded. Let me change my filter from CAD documents only to all. And now I can see in my workspace, here is the WT part that was created. Here is the CAD document. Let's take a look at some different preferences that a windshield administrator can set in order to make this process a little better. Here I am in a standalone web browser. You can see at the top of the screen that I am logged in as administrator. I'm actually logged in as the WC admin. In order to make changes to the preferences that will affect all the different users, you'll want to go to browse in the navigator and then go either to the organization level or the site level. I'm going to do this at the site level and then I will click on utilities. Then down in the list we have preference management. And you can see that there are a number of different categories. I'm going to expand the operation category. Let me scroll down a little bit. The first choice in there is auto associate, but I'm actually going to start underneath check in operation. And here we have an option here to auto associate upon check in. And this controls the default behavior, whether or not to perform auto associate for objects that do not have associated parts. You'll see that the default choice is no. The reason that I had it checked in my Creo session is because I changed my personal preference for that. But let's say I want to make this mandatory for everyone. I will right click on the option and then choose set preference. And then here in the dialog box, we can change the value to yes. And also we can check the box here locked. And that way when someone tries to check in, well, it will have that option set for auto associate and it will not allow a person to uncheck it. So this is a way to prevent someone from accidentally checking in a CAD document and not having a WT part with it because that can also screw up things later on for when you're trying to build a product structure for a higher level assembly. It might not have all the necessary WT parts in there because maybe the WT parts were not generated when the CAD document was checked in. So let's click the OK button. And now we have set the preference. Let's go back up a little bit to the auto associate category. You can see that there are a whole bunch of different options in here. I'm not going to go through all these. I'm only going to go through maybe five or six of them. First off, here we have the auto associate naming parameter. You can see that there is a plus sign next to it. And here we have the Creo listed underneath here. And so what this means is it'll use the attribute for part name to be used for the name of the WT part. Also, we have the auto associate numbering parameter. And this essentially does the same thing. Hey, it'll specify what number should it look for. Then there are a couple that deal with truncating file extensions. So for example, here we have Creo and it is set to yes. What this means is when you check in a CAD document, it's going to have a .prt on the end of the name, or it's going to have a .asm on the end of the name. Typically, you don't want that 
in the name of the WT part in windchill. You want to chop that off automatically. That's why this is set to yes over here. That's a good idea because let's be honest, outside of Creole Parametric, people don't care if it's .prt, .asm, whatever. Let's also expand the one below it. So again, auto associate truncate number file extension. Yes, the number for the WT part is automatically going to chop off that .prt or that .asm as well. The next option to take a look at, create associate new part. So with auto associate, it is going to look in the windchill server for a WT part of the same name. And if that WT part exists, then it is going to marry the CAD document to the WT part. It is going to create the association. But what if that WT part does not exist in windchill? This option here controls the creation of new parts. I'm going to right click and choose set preference. And inside of here, there are a few different options. The option that is default is owner only. So any situation where you would have a CAD document being checked in that would have an owner link to a WT part, if the WT part doesn't exist, hey, it's going to end up creating it. Another option in here is owner and contributing image. So there's a possibility where you can end up having a contributing image link between a CAD document like a drawing and a WT part. So this option enables the creation of WT parts for anything that would have an owner link like a CAD document and any other kinds of CAD doc means that you would check in that would end up with a contributing image then there's the option in here all and regardless of whether it's going to create an owner link a contributing image link or an image link it's going to end up generating a wt part and the last option over here is never and so never will not create a wt part if one does not exist and so this is an option that if you're an organization where you don't use WT parts, well, this is probably what you have set or would want to have set to prevent the creation of those WT parts. But hey, I don't agree with that. I think WT parts are fantastic. But let's leave this at the default value. I will just click cancel out of the dialog box in order to leave it at its current setting. All right, let's see another one. Build part after associate. Here it is set to no. What this option does, let me set the preference. Well, if I expand the dialog box a little bit, it says that, hey, it's basically going to build the product structure of the WT part after the association. I think this is a good idea. If there are any windchill admins who think this is a bad idea, hey, please tell me in the comments. Hey, go ahead and build that product structure for the WT part after the association. Let's click the OK button and scroll down a little bit more. Last two options that we'll take a look at, set revision for part. Let me right click and choose set preference. So what this will do is it will make the WT part, especially for a new WT part, the same as the same revision as the CAD document itself. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, the WT part and the CAD document should be at the same revision level. They should be at A or both be at B or both be at C, whatever. Let's click the OK button. And another option I like, let's go to store new parts with CAD documents. Some people want their WT parts and their CAD documents to be in different folders. I prefer them to be in the same folder. So let's change the option to yes in here. I'm not going to lock this option. And I also didn't lock a bunch of the other different options so that people do have the ability to reconfigure that if they have a reason for it. So let's click the OK button. And that's how we can end up setting a bunch of different preferences at the site or the org level to control the behavior of creation of WT parts for CAD documents. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, 
please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.